The US has constantly proven itself to be the space giant. There are several privately funded companies in the country whose business is the world beyond ours, and through research and development, they've cemented the country as the kings of space. But there is one country that's catching up quickly, and that is China. 2020 saw the East Asian world power launch more space vessels than they had ever previously done. It seems like they're in a bid to become SpaceX's and the USA's biggest space competitor. If SpaceX and China's space feud are unfamiliar to you, then you should definitely watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy. The People's Republic of China has, over the years, become a force to be reckoned with. One might even say that they have an almost desperate need to prove themselves to the world. They've always set themselves against the big dogs of the world. From trade wars to international infrastructure projects, China makes their quest for influence impossible to miss. This attitude has also entered into their most recently explored frontier, space travel. China, just like most of the world, has realized the importance of the space race. In the past few years, China has been the country with the most rocket launches, and they have even become the first to have a functioning rover on the far side of the moon. Their navigation satellite system, Beidou, now has its last satellite in geostationary orbit after its launch in 2020. Beidou has been tagged as China's answer to GPS. Just as China does not go for subtleties on Earth, its space infrastructure is going to be impressive. Their space model is created primarily to make them independent of the US. They of course intend to make a profit for themselves. Their military operations would most likely also receive an upper hand with all their space research. The USA has always made its intention to explore space very clear to the world. China's competition, however, may not be such a bad thing. There will be more information made available to us on Earth about the world beyond us, and that will be more beneficial and that will create many more breakthroughs in several research fields. The United States has always been anxious about any technological advancements made by the Eastern world. When the Soviet Union launched the first ever satellite, Sputnik 1, there was a crisis. The US went as far as making new laws so they could close the gap in technological knowledge. Things like the internet, Silicon Valley, only came to be because of the response of investing in whole new sectors. In recent times, Elon Musk's aerospace company, SpaceX, has dominated the space race. No other privately funded company has even come close to competing with the company's drive. One can not be very surprised though, as Elon Musk is very vocal about his hard work ethic. However, the Chinese government might just be about to outwork him this year. SpaceX flew 26 missions into space last year. China's space agencies launched 34. Seeing how the total number of orbital launches in the US were 40 last year, one company is responsible for the country's advantage. Other privately funded companies have not been able to keep up with Musk's space venture. Blue Origin, owned by multi-billionaire Jeff Bezos, Boeing, United Launch Alliance, and OneWeb all promised to match SpaceX's output, and there was very little success in that. SpaceX's space travel goals are threefold. They aim to launch their Starlink internet network, launch satellites for others, and take people into low Earth orbit and beyond. Their satellite network, Starlink, was responsible for 14 of their 2020 rocket launches. They see these launches as an investment in their internet services provider goal. Starlink is the biggest private satellite network in the world currently, and their beta program is already underway. The results seem to be going in line with the promises Musk made about the program. The USA FCC has hinted that they would give SpaceX a $885 million in subsidiaries, and this would go towards providing internet in rural areas around the world. The US military has also given Musk's company a deal to replicate Starlink's design in demonstration satellites. Last year, SpaceX also made strategic moves with the launch of its new Crew Dragon spacecraft. The spacecraft has already made two trips, carrying astronauts to the International Space Station. This move can be seen as proof of NASA's decision to purchase services rather than vehicles, and also make a long-needed return to space, being that the last human trip to space from the USA was as far back as 2011. Ironically, SpaceX has only won 40% of the US securities launches. The remaining 60% have been mostly awarded to the United Launch Alliance, which is a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed. Not one of ULA's private missions were launched last year. While SpaceX already has its Falcon 9 rocket to carry on its own launches, ULA hasn't done a full ground test of its new rocket, Vulcan, that is set to launch at the end of 2021. SpaceX seems positioned for another year of leading the launch companies. Elon Musk has hinted that the company will do as many as 48 launches this year. So, who are the only people who would rival them at any moment? Well, the People's Republic of China.
present-day China already has more economic strength than the Soviet Union ever did. Experts say that the United States is scared that China would refuse to live in a world where the USA is supreme. If anything, they'll fight to prove that their system of authoritarian capitalism is more beneficial for this century than the US's more liberal democracy. The space industry has gone far from being a tool to it, now a major show of political strength for something of real importance. The industry is now estimated to be worth about $345 billion and China has big plans of increasing its worth. Beidou that we mentioned earlier is set to become an even more reliable positioning system. China has been developing the system since 2000. Completed just last year, some estimates place it at being 20 centimeters more accurate than GPS. This system is practical and it will be widespread from the military to commercial. As widespread as helping with everything from missile aiming to pizza delivery, China has with this gotten its independence from the USA in the information sector. China had opened up the private space industry hoping to encourage more competition against the USA. Chinese company iSpace successfully launched a rocket into orbit in 2019. It was the first to do so in the country. This success has encouraged other companies to rise up. One called Galaxy Space has plans to launch 650 low Earth orbit satellites. These satellites would form a system very similar to SpaceX's Starlink. Galaxy Space's plan would be to put China at an advantage as they deliver better and faster global internet access. There's more than profit at stake for China though. For President Xi Jinping, it might just be a thing of national pride. China has worked hard to establish itself as a world power. A thriving space program would drive the point better into the world's mind, and this is why China is working to prove that it's capable of delivering on a NASA-type level. China's moon rover system has been operative as far back as 2013. As we said earlier, the one deployed on the far side of the moon had never been done before. China has also launched a Mars rover, which isn't the first one. However, it is the first orbiter, lander rover, and all of this in one mission. China's most important space step is in the building of its space station. This station will serve as a crucial part of research and space testing. Of course, it will also offer an alternative to the International Space Station. Compared to the United States of America, China will find it easier to direct its resources in one direction. Its authoritarian government would easily make the resource shift. However, this might affect the country's economic ecosystem. Experts say that the United States system that allows for open information flow would create true dynamism. They say that while America's free flow, innovation, and government might not be why they win the space race, it should not affect them losing. Sadly, there are a few signs that China's space program might be a little shaky already. Last year, one of the country's long Mach 5B rockets exploded. It caused a rain of debris over Cota de Ivory. The team points fingers at an uncontrolled re-entry of the rocket's core stage. There is a general worry that because of China's way of not sharing information, we don't know what to expect. Should it be treated as a one-time occurrence? Will this be consistent? The US is not going to let China sweep them away and win this space race. China has to compete up against a team that has a long and successful history in the space industry. More than that, the USA is attempting more difficult launches all the time. America is attempting to beat China back to the far side of the moon, this time to harvest resources. These resources would then be studied and used to plan another launch to Mars. The Trump administration of the USA was very invested in speeding up the Artemis program. The Artemis program is a United States government-funded international human spaceflight program that has the goal of landing the first woman and the next man on the moon, specifically at the lunar South Pole region by 2024. This program is costing about 35 billion US dollars. The speed is suspected to be the work of fear about China's progress. Possibly, NASA could be driven to then innovate more as China will keep growing. Some of NASA's projects include a Mars mission which is equipped with a mini helicopter to fly on the planet's surface. There's another mini helicopter mission scheduled for Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The Hubble telescope is also getting an upgrade, which is named James Webb Space Telescope. The Hubble changed how we see space, so we can only imagine what the James Webb telescopes will show us. We can say that the space race will thrive as long as the USA and China continue their rivalry. We've seen from history that as their great rivalry gets thicker, the more they push each other to do more research and get better. China may not want to be subjected to the USA, whether on Earth or space. They do have a head start on technology already that would help give them the edge. We do wonder now how their culture will withhold information and if that's going to hamper their innovation. Will they continue to get stronger? Will the USA somehow regain its grandstanding in space? 
Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.